Okay, we are live. Welcome everyone to our special live stream. I have a special guest today. Uh, oh. With me today is uh, Wolfgang Baus. He's the product manager from uh, Rico Germany. Correct. Thanks for coming uh, to my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, um, I want to talk a little bit about why we are doing this. Um, first, uh, I already did a Rico GR3 live stream a few weeks ago. Maybe you, you saw it. And um, there I answered your questions, but there were a lot of questions that I couldn't answer. And I thought, you know, maybe it's better to ask uh, an expert or, you know, ask this horse directly. And so I yeah, reached out to uh, Wolfgang and he was willing to be here and yeah, be here for you guys to uh, answer your questions. And for that, we already collected um, a lot of your questions on Instagram and YouTube as well. So we are going to uh, through a list and we also were in contact with Rico Japan, right? Yeah. But uh, we, we, we cannot say if we got all the questions or at least I don't know the answers yet. Uh, he knows them, but uh, I haven't seen them yet. Um, but we will see and yeah, we will also answer your live questions. So if you have any questions, then just um, put them in the live chat and we will try to answer all of them if we can. Maybe at the end we will take more time um, to look at the chat. So I, I think we should just start um, with the questions from uh, Instagram. Uh, so, first of all, yeah. hello also from my side. <laughs> oh yeah, how rude of me. So let's officially yes. uh, greet each other. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Hi, Samuel. Nice to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Yes, uh, Samuel says, He is an expert. Uh, I'm the guy in Germany who can count one and one, but mostly uh, <laughs> the result must not ever be uh, two. It could <laughs> be also three or one, but yeah. uh, we will see to do the best out of this question. There is a big question questionnaire I see. Yes, let us start with the beginning, I would say, and there are so many questions. Let's yeah. start. Okay. So. In the beginning, uh, we have a lot of questions about the body design and I categorized it so it's easier to go through all the um, yeah, categories. So first one is, um, why was the built-in flash removed? So, uh, uh, With the product launch, uh, we met first time at Fotokina uh, yeah. and uh, you had an interview with me and that was the first time we analyze the camera and uh, camera uh, there was no flash inside and uh, people expected in the beginning why there is no uh, viewfinder in it mm. and other says oh uh, there is no swiveling display there was mm. so many requirements to the camera um, but mm, somebody people who knows me knows that I compare every time with cars Uh, take a Porsche 911. Mm -hmm. If you ask Porsche 911 to have a, a SUV function, to have a more space for mm -hmm. your family, for traveling and so on, then it's no longer a Porsche 911. Mm -hmm. And that is the same with the camera. The engineers had an idea. Mm -hmm. There was a concept for the camera and the main concept was very small camera with very very high quality that mm. was the main point and how to achieve this um, we have to or the engineers decide to make first camera in this size with a shake reduction model never mm. heard about a shake reduction model in such a camera in such a size of camera yeah. and that was very very important and uh, everybody who see the, the technical pictures from the camera knows mm. that we need a huge space for this function. There is a moving mm. sensor inside, it needs space. Mm. And on the other hand side, we would like to build a small camera. Mm. And um, you know from your work uh, and you know from other street photographers, do they really need a viewfinder. It's nice to have a viewfinder from time to time, but it's not a must. Mm -hmm. uh, as well, both of us knows from the, if you, if you would like to, to make from the bottom line to make photos, it's nice to have a swiveling display, mm -hmm. but we could also live without this. So uh, there are some reasons to say no flash, no, no, no uh, 
viewfinder in it and no swiveling. That is the concept of the camera, small, high quality and every part we will add to the body, mm -hmm. it will make the camera bigger and that is against the concept of the camera. Mm. And as well, by the way, uh, we got also questions, uh, Pentax and Ricoh is standing for water sealed cameras. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, that was one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Everybody is asking why you didn't create a camera with, with weather sealing. Mm. It, it's the same answer because that it needs again space yeah. and um, Samuel has a, the camera with him, his camera, and if you see the small lens and the small camera, there is not enough space to add all these mm. requirements to the body. Okay. Mm. But can I ask you, is this maybe a possibility for the future to, <laughs> you know, get we advance in technology and then maybe someday you will be able to Weather seal the GR? No, nothing is impossible. Yeah. By, by the way, there was also a question um, as far as I remember um, about uh, is it possible to add a zoom lens function? Mm. Um, you mean a zoom lens or the uh, teleconverter? Yes, uh, it's zoom lens. Yeah, the, yeah and uh, as I read, there was oh. also the uh, question for uh, zoom lens, inbuilt zoom lens. Mm. Uh, if there will be any time a zoom lens, mm. zoom lens camera available. I explained that the camera should be very small and uh, tiny and, and, and small mm. one. And with a zoom lens, uh, that is against the concept as well. Um, there are physical requirements because of the focal length and the diameter of the lens mm. uh, for a uh, very, very bright lens. Mm. You, you need a wider lens, bigger lens, mm. and then it's again not a pocket camera, but possible is everything. Mm. Yeah, I, I prefer a fixed lens and then just give me a sharp lens and then I yeah, don't, yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. zoom. But what about uh, a teleconverter? Will that be maybe an option, like an add-on yeah. for Tele 50 uh, millimeter? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with you. Uh, I, have, I have my camera with me. Okay. <laughs> That, that is uh, against the, the, the principle of a, a pocket mm -hmm. camera, but this yeah. is my 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 ah, okay. my my, uh, my my production case. Mm -hmm. Everything I have to carry is with this, yeah. but this is against the concept of the camera. The camera need only this small, mm -hmm. but uh, we are offering for the camera as well a wide angle adapter. And we, if we see this. This wide angle adapter is already big. Already big, if you mm. see this. Yeah. So, can you imagine? So, and by, uh, you need as well the adapter to use this. Mm -hmm. So, and if you imagine that we will have a teleconverter as well, mm. this needs at least. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I totally understand that. But I think maybe someone, uh, some people wanted to know if there will be. Uh, also a 50 meter version of the GR, like a fixed 50 meter. I mean, this would be a huge change because you, you always have the 28 millimeter, yeah. right? So, but it would be, it would be nice, but uh, it's, I mean, a but, cost but, but question. Does it make sense? Um, the, the focal length for street photography is 28 millimeter. Mm. As I say, 35 millimeter. Uh, but 50 millimeter is difficult, I think. I think we don't can sell this many cameras with 50 millimeter lens. So yeah. uh, with a- the, Maybe uh, certified. Yeah, <laughs> but our decision is for 28. Yeah. And uh, if you remember, uh, everybody starting with a standard lens named with 50 millimeter, mm. and then they reduced to 35 millimeter reportage yeah. lens. And now uh, a lot of people accept as well 28 millimeter as a standard lens. Mm. Or you, you grow some balls and just go close to your subject. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there are uh, old <laughs> photographers who said, uh, yeah. If your picture is not good enough, you are too you're far not close away. To, yeah, yeah, you are not, not close to enough. Yeah, yeah. not close enough. Robert to, Cup, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, go closer. And and uh, you, I know from your videos that mm. very often you are very very keen 
very, very close contact with the people. So uh, mm. you have a conversation with the people. And I think everything is possible. I wouldn't deny anything, but yeah. uh, for the time being, it makes no sense. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we we have to see. We, so we, we will. You can't give us we, a like. Uh, uh, I, I know your 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 uh, <laughs> your parents came from Japan and, and it's oh, very, yeah. very. They say we will consider. <laughs> okay. We will check. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, I think there were m more questions about the lens. No zoom lens. We covered that. I will also um, check the. Oh, will you ever make a GR or? other compact camera with the viewfinder. Maybe we already answered that. Yeah, but that is answered, I think. Um, but you know, the film camera has a little viewfinder, right? So by the way, uh, uh, by, by, yes, the film yeah. camera has, by the way, uh, for people who would like to have this, ah. I bring my, mm. that is very, uh, another. I never had this in my hands. I want, <laughs> I want to check it out because I have the bigger one. But I, I want this more. <laughs> in, another advantage of the camera is that we have this accessory mm. shoe here and then put it on it and then it's, mm. it's nice. I know that you have the bigger one. Yeah. The bigger one makes sense if you will use the 21. Mm. Uh, this one, yeah. yeah if, if you have the wide yeah. angle adapter, then this makes sense. But I think the smaller one, it's, it yeah. looks also professional. Mm. It, yeah. it looks something special. I, yeah, so yeah. I, I want to trade my viewfinder with yours. <laughs> <laughs> For, no, no, this no problem. Is more yeah, yeah. Yeah. No problem. Um, yeah, but if you shoot 21, then you need then, this. Then it's better to, to work with this, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And we can add this. And by the way, if I have the time, I will show. We can remove this ring from here. And then we have. This, oh yeah, I also the, want to show. This, yeah, there was was another question about this, mm. um, and if we see the old one, uh, the old one we have to change in the menu settings, but this one is with contact. You can see here, and the camera recognize the adapter, mm. and on this adapter you can screw in here, and if I doing this i i would like to answer as well some other questions about this so then it's fixed and we have here it's wonderful to work with this mm. okay. I, I used this in berlin last a uh, few two weeks ago um, with a flash and the 21 yeah and then this works very well if you have off camera flash because 21 is perfect for like going into a crowd yeah so i liked uh, the wide angle for that by the way, sorry to interrupt, um, in my production case, there is mm -hmm. space also for a filter. Oh, yeah. And um, I like to take photographs with a longer exposure time. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and for this, I have oh. a gray filter. That's a very variable ND filter. Yes, it's yeah. a very it's it's quality wise mm. not the best solution, mm. but uh, I couldn't carry so many filters with me, and this yeah. is a perfect. Uh, it's a compromise, yeah. and uh, as you see, it could be screwed in with forty nine millimeter, mm. and that's it, and that's it. Yeah. Um, also with forty nine millimeter, there was another question about will be um, lens hood, uh, lens hood yeah. available for this. Yeah. No problem, you can... Uh, mm. Can I show hood. you? Uh, I know this is not a Rico accessory, but I have this too. Yeah. And I bought this, like, this is a standard vented lens hood. Yeah. And you can actually use... Uh, wonderful. Any, yeah. Is it 49 millimeter? It's 49 millimeter, yeah. yes. So, yeah. So this is, you know, how it would look like with a traditional uh, lens I, hood. I, for me, it's, sorry, for me, it's the first time to have a live chat. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I have here, I can see there are some guys saying hello. Uh, it's nice <laughs> to, to see so many names. Hi, Guillaume, nice to see you here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that, that no is problem. like, you, you know, from, from, from broadcasting, people make yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, mom, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good luck. exactly. Yeah, um, yeah so there, but you don't know if there will be a, a Rico accessory, we, like a we, real... We, we don't need another one. Mm. Be, be, because, because I didn't, I didn't l like the old one that much. It was 
a bit too it big. Bulk, for it, yeah, that is the same th reason. It it was too bulky, mm -hmm. and um, very very honest. Um, already, this accessories make the camera for for my type of photography too big. Yeah. The camera for me, um, as I was a young boy like you, I make photos with a pocket camera. Yeah. Aqua this pocket. is also a pocket camera. That is also a pocket camera, yeah. yes. And uh, uh, maybe you remember there was uh, Minox 35. It was Minox? Minox. Minox. It was with a lens could be clapped, ah, and it's also okay. for the pocket camera. Mm. That is for me the re the best reason for such a camera. Um, there are other cameras, t same type like this, but that is not this small. This fits in your pocket, mm. and I think that is the main reason for this camera. That is also some questions why it's this small, why it's this thin. The reason is it has to fit in your pocket. Mm. We have we are living. Ah, okay. We can just show. This is Sorry. the yeah, that, that, GR2. That, that yeah. The, the old one. Yeah, because I, I used the GR1 before. Yeah. And I actually like the new size. Um, yeah. Because it, it feels better for me. Yeah, I don't I mean. know. Uh, it's ah, I think though we can see it wonderful. Yeah, uh, it makes more sense when you hold it. Yeah. When you feel it. And um, it's, uh, it's very important to be a small one. Otherwise, uh, if you have to carry it in the bag, on your belt or uh, mm. anything like this, it's it's not this. If you mm. have to, if you be in a concert, if you be on 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 on, on party with your parents, yeah. birthday party or wherever, mostly you say, ah, oh, shit, I forgot my camera, mm. and and then you will take again your smartphone again with the worst quality. But this camera could be in your pocket, and this should be a pocket camera, and that is very important. That is mm. the concept of the camera. Yeah. For places where you're not allowed, where you are not allowed to shoot, yeah, you can yeah, shoot with yeah, this yeah, camera. Yeah. <laughs> a, a crazy thing, I, I uh, yeah. in uh, yeah, still in concert halls, you can see mm. always there is a pictogram. Don't use a camera. Yeah. But whenever you've been in a concert of a music group, you you will see a lot of smartphones and and people doing mm. video and and and, and photo. Yeah. But there's still a sign. No photo, it's mm. crazy. But this is for yeah. camouflage photography as well. You can always say this is just for you know for fun. It's not yeah, a serious uh, camera. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you can Ah by the way, mm? that's very, very important. Mm. Uh, whenever I'm on the road with, mm. with my SLR camera, yeah. everybody will recognize you as photographer. Ah, ah there yeah. is a photographer. He would like to pick take pictures maybe yeah. from me oh no please i yeah, don't want yeah, yeah. but yeah. With, the, with this camera mm. uh, you are not recognizable as a photographer mm. uh, you switch on the camera and make a very discreet photo and yeah. everything is fine all right good okay, next question let's, let's continue now i will check if there are yeah you can um answer any questions when you yeah, see yeah I I, I I i check the chat here yeah Go on with your questions. Okay, so one of uh, quest one of uh, one question that was asked a lot was also, um, will there be a monochrome only version, like ah, the Leica monochrome? Ah, yeah. Uh, monochrome version is is a difficult thing. Hmm. Um, by the way, not everyone. Uh, would uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it. It's difficult if I say w w the camera quality is comparable with a Leica. Yeah. But uh, you made the test between Fujifilm and and uh, and the GR3, mm -hmm. and that is that what I seen in your video that the quality is outstanding from both cameras. And yeah, it was hard to say which one is uh, yeah, so much better. Yeah. And if you compare it as well with a Leica camera, you will mm. see as well no different. Um, that is very, very important, and uh, Leica has a camera with their own sensor. But actually, there is no sensor available on the market mm. uh, which fits in the camera with only black and white. That is, oh. the, that is the reason for this, mm. that we have, for the time being, no idea to make a black and white version. Mm. But another way I would like to tell you, um, if I explain it to you, you know it as well, as well because you made mm -hmm. already the experience. Um, you can 
shift the camera to different uh, pre-settings, uh, black and white, monochrome, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, hard contrast monochrome. Mm -hmm. And um, my feeling, and that is uh, a thing what I see was in discussions with other photographers, the picture quality is very, very similar to analog. Mm. The uh, yeah, I got some comments when I was shooting the monotone filter, yeah. for example, and people were saying it looks more film-like than yeah. the, the general black and white filter from other cameras. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's I I understand. Um, for me, mm. I I uh, have the setup to save in raw files, mm. but but as well. I'm working on the camera with black and white setting directly oh, yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. I don't start uh, afterwards with with with, uh, with with conversion to to black and white. I start already with black and white, mm. and then yeah, I have then, then I have the feeling already. Then uh, pictures uh, from time to time I see. Oh, this is is it a picture? No, is it not really? It's it's dark, it's cloudy, it's it's mm. it's worst situation for photographers. But in black and white, mm. every picture looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just fix it by shooting yeah, black and yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess it's just a specialty camera that isn't really needed right now. It wouldn't make sense, right? Just to produce yeah. a camera that probably just the minority of people will buy. Yeah, there's another Because thing. Because the yeah. black and white filters are already good so i mean i would i don't me personally i yeah. wouldn't need a black and white only camera i would miss the positive film filter so I yeah think. um on the other way uh, I, I would explain as well why there's no black and white uh, version mm. uh, on the other hand side uh, we have to uh, that is the target of our company uh, mm. we have to sell cameras <laughs> and uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, we, we, <laughs> How dare uh, you! <laughs> uh, our first target is to make fun for photographers, mm. but as well, the target for for the owners of the company is to make money. Yeah. So, sorry, and um, unbelievable. We, <laughs> but we have to see um, in the business plan mm. how many cameras, or there, there has to be a break-even point. Yeah. How many cameras we can sell? Mm. How big is the invest for this? And if uh, and, and this has to be in balance, and I don't see it for a black and white camera. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Um, I saw a question in the chat. Um, let me go back. Yeah, I check as well the chat. I think it was about the viewfinder. If there will ever be a um, like a with a di um, electric uh, EVF, I yeah. mean. Um, what the one you had for the mm. GXR, mm. XR? The problem, well, what the problem is, uh, there is no. We have some contacts, yes, mm. for for interfaces, but this is that are only interface for communication with a flash. Mm. Okay. Um, we have uh, for communication here the USB. Yeah. Uh, USB-C. USB-C, yeah. yes. And it is. Po it mm -hmm. could be an idea. I, I already it, did it. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay. Transferring the yeah. signal yeah. to yeah, yeah. A, a monitor. For exactly, yeah. yeah. That, that is the only reason you can do mm. it. Yeah. yeah. Or the only thing you can do, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let's move on. So... Um, oh, yeah. Um, there were some issues... Um, with the availability in some countries for the GR3. Why was that? Is, were there not enough <sighs> units made mm -hmm. or you didn't expect the camera to be so popular? Or I mean, here's the question, especially like for India. Yeah, yeah. It's not available in India. Um, um, we, yeah. Um, the camera is available. Oh, no, it's, sorry. The first cameras was uh, supplied to mm. the dealers in beginning of, I think, two weeks ago. Is it no two weeks? One month ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, we did it in um, 
the first test we did in Cologne, and this was in. So I think it was in March. Uh, yeah, in, in, yeah, in March already. Yes, and uh, the it camera is still not available. Mm. If you check the check it on on, on Amazon, you will. You see mean in Germany? Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. that is in, in, in. I check only in, in Germany. Oh, okay. And uh, you can see that Amazon is always waiting for new cameras, mm. and uh, they have a price of over 1000 euro that's nice to see normally mm. they are f uh, below the the, the uh, prices but now they are much above because they have not enough cameras oh, okay. um, in the very beginning of the year uh, we have to make a calculation how many cameras we can sell mm. and there is a little bit of trust to the camera and there are a lot of uh, distributors in the smaller countries who say ah we will see how the development of the camera sales will, and then mm. we will decide mm. to order for yeah, our market. Yeah. And uh, if they wait too long, mm. it was too late. For sure they will get the cameras, but all the mm. other countries who give the trust in the camera ordered already, yeah. ordered higher quantities and oh, will okay. supply at first. Mm. So that is the reason that um, so they don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the dealers, but on the other hand side, I got a list here. Yeah. I, I, I got a list. Uh, we started uh, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in Korea, Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, New Zealand, and Vietnam. Uh, so uh, mm. also these countries could sell the cameras. Yeah, I know that some people in Germany, they can get the DGR3 or they already got it. Yeah. So it's possible to buy it, but there's not enough for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> correctly. A lot of dealers um, ordered, mm -hmm. and, uh, but we have as indicator our web shop and uh, also in our web shop, we have big back order situation. Yeah. Mm. I want to address a question here yeah. from Foto Mats in German, uh, but I will translate in English because I want to know this as well. Um, will it be possible in the future that maybe there will be an update um, to use the film, uh, the effects from the GR3 in Lightroom, for example? Yeah, yeah. Um, there are more than only one question in this question. <laughs> um, first of all, um, with this week Lightroom uh, bring an update Mm. And with this update, the GR3 is available in pre-settings for... for cam camera profile. Yeah, for camera the profile, yes, for yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Camera profile was now available. Mm -hmm. uh, beside of this, there are a lot of photographers offering their own profiles. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's an idea to, to start with this pre-setting. Mm -hmm. And um, very honest, we we are checking or we are using the opportunity what you are doing mm. to collect ideas yeah. um, as we announced the camera uh, we announced the camera as the camera is not complete now mm. um, as we know from gr gr2 yeah. that we announced afterwards also uh, firmware updates mm. including new functions yeah. um, I couldn't promise that we will work together with Adobe because that is co-workership with, with Adobe. That's not, not only we, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe there are opportunities to make profiles which are available from our web page or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that could be an, a good idea. Yeah, um, yeah it, would, it would be nice because, for example, the black and white filter I use. I can never use it on my raw files mm -hmm. because it's yeah. embedded in the JPEG and in Lightroom then it's gone so yeah we talked about the black and white uh, function mm. in, in the camera and it's you have to do it in the camera you can do it as well after you you shoot the photos you can uh, uh, do everything in the camera mm. um, after or in the processing afterwards uh, but as far as the file left the camera Mm. You couldn't repeat this. That's correct, and yeah. uh, I th I agree with this. Mm. It's a good idea. Yeah. Or maybe something like a little software, only for the GR. Like the, for example, Fuji has this Fuji X Studio, mm. I think, and it's just the the in camera raw developer mm. uh, for the PC. Mm. Uh, maybe something like that. But uh, yeah, it would be nice. 
Um, yeah, I think so. It's it's a nice idea. Uh, yeah. It's not only uh, photomats who who asked that. There was also in our list of uh, questions. It was also uh, some questions about this. Mm. Yeah. Until so, then, Mats, you are not alone. <laughs> but there are always presets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there was uh, another question about, uh, yeah, something that we didn't prepare because this is a new question, but um, I want to know this as well. The positive film effect mm. is a little bit different on the old GR. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know why. Mm. Uh, I heard that some Pentax cameras also have the same effect. Mm. I don't know if that is right. Um, there are um, as well some other effects are missing as well. Mm. The cross processing is missing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Cross, in the uh, uh, Mike asked, Mike from Poland asked uh, something like this. Oh, you're uh, right, yeah. And uh, he is as well asking for a grain control function. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the same question. Um, that is what I just explained. That is not the final version of the camera. Oh, yeah, because uh, here, ah, that's why, because it, it says here in the, when I edit my photos. Yeah. I have an, an option for grain effect, ah, yeah, but I can't okay. use it. Yeah, it's grayed out. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so maybe this will come in the yeah, future. Yeah. Ah, okay. So there will be uh, that is that what I meant uh, as well. Another uh, question was about: um, Could you please you. Um, explain how does the um, GPS function works, mm. or could you please tell us about yeah. um, about Bluetooth? Mm -hmm. um, we, oh, sorry, I have problems with the dates, but two weeks ago we mm -hmm. announced the firmware update 1.10. Yeah. And uh, this was only the first, the very, very first approach to, to have a combination or communication between camera and, and uh, smartphone. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we have opportunity at least to, to transfer pictures from camera to smartphone or tablet and yeah. there will be much, much there will be some more functions available in the future with next updates mm. uh, maybe we can then uh, do a segue to to the firmware updates yeah because uh, we prepared a little uh, something to show you um, you want to talk a little bit about the firmware update yeah how, how you actually do the firmware update yeah, um, yeah. Um, so as far we first, um, how to get the yeah how to how, how to get uh, yeah. uh, first of all uh, could you yes that mm. is the yeah please go to the German page mm. and um, this is an example yeah. um, yes you can choose GR three and there we have a download section yeah and at this download section. Uh, yes, please choose this. Um, there is a PDF file you have to download yeah. and there is explanation what we did with this, uh, with this firmware and because you change something inside of the camera. So we have to explain how does it work. Everything ah, yeah. is, is explained um, here, um, how it works, how you have to operate. In the end of this letter you can find this is a download accept and download button exactly yeah. this yeah. so um, that is the, the, the German version uh, some other countries has this as well but now you can have switched to the uh, Japanese web page yeah. you can go to support please and if in the su support uh, section you have software downloads and you find the same as well here if you scroll down mm -hmm. If you scroll down, firmware updates yeah. and uh, so and with this firmware you download a zip file. Yeah, and uh, we, we, we can quickly check the what is the update. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, that's what is the reason or what what, what is the, uh, yeah. the new function with the updates. Yeah. Uh, and this uh, is ah, the, the biggest okay. one. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that is uh, the most important thing. Yeah. Um, um, yes, please let us Talk about this um, improved uh, the the autofocus. Mm. It will uh, be hard to show you guys here on the stream, but uh, I can, uh, yeah, say that it really improved the camera. Um, I would say it's maybe on par on with the X100F that I also have. Um, 
yeah, it's, it's definitely improved. And before that, it was hunting a lot. And sometimes I wouldn't get it. I couldn't get the shot because it was uh, refocusing. But now it's like, even with some candlelight lighting, yeah. it, it can actually focus. So, yeah. Much, much faster than before. Yeah. Uh, that was w main one main thing. Another thing was, that was also part of the question, uh, the questions we got. Um, they talk about the heat of the camera. Uh, mm. If they touch the camera, people think that it's much too warm. Mm -hmm. um, I can confirm it, uh, but uh, I thought that was... Uh, I have to play too hard with the camera, too long time. Mm. And um, for sure, th th there is a processor in the camera, which is... Every processor has to be cooled down and uh, we have mm. not enough uh, f material. Mm. Uh, There's no fan inside to yeah, cool yeah, yeah, the, ca yeah. so camera, right? the camera. So the camera will be warmer than normal, mm. but not as hot as in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and uh, with the firmware update, they improved also the heating oh, okay. issue. Yeah. Um, For some people, they said it got really, really hot, yeah. like burning hot. But I never had this problem. For me, it gets a little bit warm when I for example, have my live view on for a long yeah, time, yeah. but never like really hot. Yeah, so it was the first cameras and oh, okay. uh, with a firmware yeah. update, it's... Uh, but there was another question, uh, please go back to the uh, to, to the paper, what, what is new with it? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, Sorry. correspondent to image sync. Um, uh, uh, this is the app. That is the app, yeah. yeah. So we have prepared something and mm. I think we will, first of all, we will show a small, short video yeah. about how to update. Oh yeah, yeah? when we um, can comment um, on that. Uh, if you, I would like to repeat, if you downloaded the update mm. file, yeah. it's on your computer in a specific folder, For in my computer it's downloads mm. and then you have to uh, bring it on an SD card. Mm. And it, there will be a zip file It first, is a zip right? file first of all yeah. and out of this zip file you will have a BIN mm. uh, file and this yeah. BIN file you have to bring to the SD card yeah. and how to go on we can show you with a small video. Um, first of all you can check Make sure that. Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, you <laughs> have the, the, the prepared the, the, the firmware on the card. You have to check the firmware version as yeah. first. Oh, we show uh, you how to check yeah, the firmware. Firmware info options. Um, it's if you switch to the right side, you will there will be appear uh, version one o o. This is the first. That is the first version. one. Correct. Uh, you will take the SD card, you have to take the SD card with the firmware version. Mm -hmm. Please, please keep in mind that the battery is full charged. Yeah. The process needs a lot of uh, power mm -hmm. and make sure that the battery is not empty, that is full loaded. Yes, mm -hmm. there is a prepared card put in the camera, it's very, very simple. And then <laughs> you don't have to do it this, uh, like me, this far, uh, short. So, and then press the menu button at the same time the on-off button. Mm -hmm. so menu hold, button, on-off, hold down, on off, hold and down then. yes. And then wait, and then you can see that appears, update the camera firmware. And then very, very simple, execute. execute. You can move to execute with a four-way controller to execute. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we pre-recorded this. So. Yeah, this is just our commentary. Yeah, you just press execute and then it is updating. So if the camera fails here, then the, the wa warranty will be yeah, gone. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, so you yeah, have to be yeah. careful. But, but um, you know that I, I play very often with the cameras and, and I try as well with an with a empty battery. The process wouldn't start if there is not enough battery. Ah, okay. in. So, so after that, you after take that, out the card. Please, please uh, care about that the the firmware file is still yeah, on, the on, the, on the SD card. Yeah. So whenever you start this again, this mm -hmm. procedure, uh, it will update. But 
uh, in best case, you make uh, format, SD, format card. SD card and everything is fine. Now there appears uh, version 101 yeah. and everything is fine. So, and if you have this, uh, you, you have the new function as we explained already. Um, so, maybe we show uh, how to use the app now. Um, I, I will check. Uh, some uh, there was, yeah, there was a que uh, some question uh, about. It's easy to get distracted, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are so many uh, yeah. things. Um, uh, there was also Tim asking if there will be future updates for GR2. Um, mm -hmm. The GR2 will still be available mm -hmm. as cheaper version. Yeah. And um, uh, for the time being, uh, there is, I think there will be no new firmwares for this. Uh, I couldn't imagine that there will be... No, I, I don't think so. Um, there was another question I read about... Uh, ah, yeah, the, the, there was also a, a question about the... Wobbly control. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was the other one, what I just read. Um, I, I know that this problem could be, but uh, this, this, this 4-way controller has to be a little bit uh, mm. wobbly uh, mm. and there is no problem of this. If anybody has still the problem, uh, please go to your uh, you can service actually center. Return it yeah, to yeah, the service I center. Mean, mine is. Uh, I don't know. You can no, see it. it's, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit. I don't. Um, I'm not concerned about this. No, it's at all. no, no. But we have to say otherwise. Yeah. Um, in the the first cameras was supplied, and 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 some guy said, "Oh, it's it's too wobbly." And and and, and what's happened? Uh, mm -hmm. That that is that is part of the techniques themselves. Mm -hmm. If you see this, that is, ah, yeah. It's a four-way controller with a, a drop dial, and and there are so many functions around of this. Mm -hmm. I think that is, it's it's okay like this, yeah. um, unless it's not working anymore. Then uh, no, then but but it's, I there. never heard about this problem. Um, Where's the beer? Yeah, that <laughs> is the same question. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have water. Uh, <laughs> um, Maybe that it was is not wobbly. Water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so far, then you can proceed. Yes. Uh, you asking would we make the next video? Um, we mm. with a new firmware. Uh, we. You mean the app? Or with a new firmware, ah. you connect the could connect the camera with the app. Ah, okay. Now it's possible to sync uh, to transfer your files from the camera yeah, to yeah. phone it's, or tablet. Yes, it's it's a first step. Yeah. It's not the final step mm. because um, if you see the menu, there are some um, some, some some functions in gray as well. Mm. Connection with uh, what are you doing? Is it already in the ah, video? Okay, should I? Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, I yeah, just yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no it's, it's no problem. <laughs> so you you just said that it's not the final version yet. There will yeah. be more functions yeah, added yeah, later. Yeah. Please show the video and then yeah. we will talk about this. Um, here you can choose Wi-Fi function, connecting with, yes, wireless LAN. So this is what you have to do first. Yeah, yeah. that has to do first. There is also communication info, that's what is very, very important, because in the communication info you will find the password. Mm. If you uh, will connect your smart device, mobile device, then that is the password you have to give in and to be connected. Yeah. And, and this uh, you do once. Yeah, you have one time and every time if you uh, use the same camera again, uh, you will be connected mm -hmm. by, you have to, to, uh, to press the button at the camera for sure. Uh, yeah. It's not automatically uh, for yeah. the time being. But we will see it later. Yes, yeah, but it's, that is the shortcut for this. Push the button and then uh, it's also uh, starting the connection. Yeah. There is a sign, a symbol in the in the screen. Mm -hmm. It's it's changing from gray to white. Yeah, now and it's gray because now it's, it's not gray. connected yes, yet. Yes, it's not connected. So you have to select uh, the GR under your Wi-Fi settings. Yeah. Here it is. And it's connected now. Yeah. 
And then the icon will turn white. Yes. Then you know it's connected. And now it's connected. Yes. Okay. So and and we used here the, the tablet. And so the the app is Image Sync. Image Sync. Just and Image Sync. Yeah. Right? And you can download it from Apple uh, Apple Store. Apple Store. Or Play Store. Or Play Store. Yeah. Um, uh, you can here choose transfer, transfer, not transfer, or all pictures. Mm -hmm. and, and you can transfer raw and yeah, traffic. Yeah, yeah. And depending to your software you are using, you can do as well the raw uh, development later on on it. Um, there is a, as far as I know, that the file is 35 megabyte or anything like this. And mm -hmm. uh, let us make a download. I don't know which picture we choose for this. Ah. Nice street shot, I see. That is the <laughs> yellow line is nice, I think. That is the first time <laughs> that I see the, the yellow line is very nice. Yeah, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, so you can move between Yeah, you can images. move between all the images and say transfer now. Oh yeah. And can download it. And then you can see the, the progress. Bar. Yeah, but it, I think it's very, very fast. It's yeah, and I think we accidentally uh, downloaded the raw file. So yeah. This is when you download raw, it will be this fast. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and there it is. And the red is. Yeah, so 32 megabytes. And in, a, in a reasonable time, uh, yeah. people say it is worst to work together with this. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's not a one-to-one -one solution. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, and within with uh, if the, 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 the Bluetooth, Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth will be available and uh, there will, will be also a function that you can transfer pictures if the camera is switched off in your case or anything like this. Mm. So uh, we, we, um. we, we, we have to wait. Uh, yeah. By the way, I see there is a question. Uh, could you uh, view the shutter count on the camera? Mm. Um, you can you couldn't see the total shutter count, but there are special software available in the internet. It's free of charge uh, apps you can download. But mm. there is a nice thing in the camera. If you switch off the camera, mm. I will just you have to the, take a shot. <laughs> I have to. There is one shot. Um, you can if, hold it to the camera. If I the switched phone. off, then I will shut again. So and if I switch off, so that's good now, and then you can see. Pictures of today, one or how, however, uh, today it's one. Um, so you know how many shots you Yeah, uh, you can see uh, how many shots you did uh, each day. Um, okay. With shots a day, we have the question about battery consumption. Mm. That is also a question we have. Uh, Samuel, by the way, uh, I bring you, uh, I think I bring you... Uh, oh, you, you brought me the first uh, Ricoh GS3 uh, new battery. Yes, yes, yeah, correct. I already uh, stored it in my <laughs> closet. Yes, put it in the safe. Do we need it now? No, I don't need okay, it. Sure. Uh, but Is it uh, the first one in Germany? Yeah, th that was one of the <laughs> oh, first okay. ones in Germany. Thank uh, you. It's, it's especially... <laughs> I was waiting for, for that. You. Yeah. <laughs> you wait for this, yes, two months, I think. But now it's also available. <laughs> um, oh, can I tell you a little uh, story about the battery life? Uh, I, yeah. I bought, um, sec there are second-hand options yeah. as well. Yeah. They have lower capacity. Yeah. But uh, my experience so far is that if you have one uh, fully charged battery, then you can, uh, your camera will be fine for the whole day if you just mm. you know, go out to travel somewhere. Um, but if you are out shooting the whole day, um, I take maybe three and then sometimes I still have the third battery mm -hmm. still left. So it depends on the usage because mm. uh, I often have my camera off mm. and then I do this, take a photo and then turn yeah. it off again. So uh, for me it's not a big deal. First I thought, oh, this is mm. nightmare, it's you know, a deal breaker, but now it's, for me it's now fine. That was also one of the questions. Mm. Um, could be the battery consumption be improved by a firmware update? Yeah. Um, very, very honest. And you know that I'm more or less relaxed. Uh, I, I'm not this, uh, this strong thinking guy. Um, normally, mm. usual, 
Whenever I'm going out for taking photos, I have at least one uh, battery for replacement with me. At yeah. least one. Uh, I try to use some camera systems. I need two or three batteries for reduced man. Um, the, for sure, the 200 pictures for each day is not the highest number of shots, but on the other hand side. First of all, sorry, I would like to answer the question. We couldn't improve battery consumption by a firmware update. That's impossible. Mm. Mm. Uh, the power would be needed for the processor. Mm. Um, we have here a processor, a high, for sure high-end processor, what else, yeah. uh, with an accelerator unit, accelerator mm. unit, uh, processor, <laughs> accelerator unit, um, the, um, the processor gets already prepared data. Mm. Uh, it's done by accelerator, accelerator mm. should make it faster. Okay. And so some pre uh, mm. uh, data are done and given to the processor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very important for the use of the, um, the high ISO. Yeah. We never have such a high, high ISO uh, like in this camera. That is mm. also one reason that we we thinking and our thinking and the thinking of the engineers that we don't need a battery. Sorry, not battery, uh, <laughs> flash, flash. No battery, uh, that's no, not no, no, yeah. By the way, uh, okay. Um, I no, just want uh, to quickly show you that this is how I travel with my batteries. It's, you know. But that was the so case you used in times as you used the Fujifilm. Mm -hmm. No, and, uh, the, the, this is the Ricoh GR um, battery. Ah, okay. They're much slimmer. Yeah. This is um, for SD cards. Ah, okay. So, Good. But the battery fits perfectly and, you know, it's... Yeah. It's fine. This is three, but now I have four. Yeah, now so yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go for. Uh, yeah. Now, now it's uh, okay for your holidays, mm -hmm. next holidays in Japan, yeah, for yeah. <laughs> four weeks or anything like this. Um, no, we need battery for accelerator unit. We need battery for processor. We need battery mm. for image stabilizer. Yeah. Every time, if we switch the button. Mm the unit has to be stabilized. Yeah. That, that is by magnetics mm. and that needs power. Yeah, and you know, I actually recorded with a microphone like really close to the camera, the, the sound of the image stabilization. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it sounds so futuristic, like a little robot. Yeah. I wish I could show everyone, but yeah. I didn't record um, it. This, we have a lot of experience with, with, uh, with shake reduction inside the camera because it was the first company Pentax, yeah, who, who did it. One of the first, um, like, um, no, we wasn't. Not, not pro DSLR, but the, the consumer uh, DSLR. Yeah, yeah. My first uh, DSLR ever was the Pentax K100 uh -huh. and it had uh, image stabilization. Yeah. So I used like manual lenses. So I know that uh, at that time, like Canon and everyone didn't have uh, hmm. the image stabilization. It is technique. You can find also in this camera. <laughs> Don't get and, too excited. <laughs> <laughs> and, and every time, if we have a new camera, and yeah. if you have new customers, mm -hmm. people asking us, my camera is uh, is not oh, uh, yeah. work, oh, yeah, yeah. working correct. There is some something wrong in the camera because, for me, it sounds crazy. But they sitting at home and and doing like this. Yeah. And uh, whenever, please shake your camera, and you will hear. A voice inside you there is a feeling that there is something uh, unlocked or anything like this mm. that is the the shake reduction unit do this and do this in the next step press the button and then this uh, this noise uh, couldn't appear because then it's stabilized so mm. we have accelerator unit we have high end processor uh, for uh, for a high resolution we have uh, image stabilizing. We have uh, we have autofocus and so on. That needs power. That needs battery power. And uh, depending on the circumstances, the battery power is higher or lower. If we are in situation 
where the autofocus needs more, uh, yeah, more time to work. It, it will be moved more, it will be used more, more mm -hmm. battery. If we are using a high ISO accelerator unit, it has to work more. Yeah, yeah. We need. So it could be that you say me, oh sorry, I only make 75 pictures this evening. And I answered, oh, why that? I do uh, 200. That depending on the yeah, uh, yeah. settings you made. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will check also list. check. Yeah. Uh, um. uh, from Han came the question: What type of uh, of updates will be with the next firmware? For sure, uh, the communication between. Well, I hope that uh, the communication between uh, camera and uh, smart device by Bluetooth, that is one of the main uh, updates. Uh, and we, as well, we talked about uh, um, grain control and, and so mm -hmm. there are some options for next updates. Okay. Oh, will the GXR series ever get an update? GXR was one of the smartest <laughs> camera systems. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if I'm right, but uh, that was the first yes. um, system camera, like the mo uh, the modern thinking um, ever, be because uh, it was a smart idea to have the same chassis and only changing battery. Uh, not better again battery uh, yeah. only uh, changing lens and sensor yeah. if you uh, we had a um, fixed focal length yeah. um, with a big sensor and we had a zoom lens equivalent to 28 to 200 mm. with a small sensor the principle of this was very very nice uh, but nobody understand yeah. Sorry, and and uh, you also had a Leica M mount adapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sensor unit. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. And uh, the camera was was fantastic. Yeah, um, I, I actually liked it because I got to use it for a bit. You let me play with it yeah. like in 2012 or something like that. Yeah. I, I think the system of this was wonderful, but uh, it was was not. I don't know. It, it's part of the communication gewesen. It, it was yeah. in, in, in times from, from Rico, as Rico was uh, only an appendix from, from Rico uh, office uh, gear. Mm. And now with Rico imaging, we have more, more power and to, to concentrate us for, for photo, uh, uh, as, uh, to be concentrated as a photo specialist. Yeah. And um, maybe it could be again an idea, but I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I want to answer the question from Andrew here. Um, it is possible to transfer multiple photos. You just have to uh, yeah. hold down and yeah. select them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's possible. Yeah. Um, let's go back to our list because um, we can always go back to the live chat later. We have the question, ah, why does GR3 not come with an external charger? Oh, yeah. Ah, that, that, is a, that is a mother question. It is, mother uh, every, question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that is every time we will ask uh, why we couldn't uh, charge in the camera. Mm. It, it was the same with the previous with models, the previous right? the previous yeah. both cameras don't have a, a external charger mm. it, external charger is available as accessory as optional accessory but uh, you can charge the battery also in the camera that is two different principles um, on the other sorry yeah, uh, for the uh, casual uh, user they probably are just fine with just plugging in yeah, the cable yeah and using their uh, smartphone uh, adapter for that yeah for yeah yeah, that's, yeah. and uh, it's it's an idea we, we can do it but uh, who oh, other way around sorry uh, the, the pot potential users of this um, charger I think it's it's half 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 mm. of them need it 
other half don't need it. Uh, but we have to, it, finally it's costs. And finally, sorry, we mm. have to, that is the reason uh, for the, for, for the company, we have to make business. Would, and yeah, uh, if you would put uh, the charger in the package it, of the GI, it's it would additional get cost. expensive. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's additional costs. Mm. Every time, everything we are doing, additional in it, it it's, it's finally costs. Mm. Um, let's come back to the cost of the camera. There was also the question always, I'm reading very, very often, why is the camera this huge price? Yeah. Um, and very, very <laughs> often I answered relaxed, for a smartphone, you are paying without any problems 1,500 euro. Uh, euro. You, you're buying an uh, Apple mm -hmm. phone and, and, and pay a huge price. Um, you, you pay a lot of money for a barbecue. Uh, men doing barbecue and, 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 and pay a huge price for only to, to, to have uh, heat meat or anything like this. And um, if we compare the, the GR with other cameras in this category, Mm. As example, with a red point on it, <laughs> I think it's not the red dot. Uh, with the red dot. Yeah. We don't have to talk about the price of this camera. Mm -hmm. Compare cameras with the same function, with the same quality, and you will see that is the price is yes for sure. It's it's a high price, mm. but it's a good price for the camera. The quality for the camera is okay. Okay. You heard it here. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, let's see. Um, there was one question here in the chat uh, about. Yeah, um, uh, here's a question about the Wi Fi uh, incompatibility of the Wi Fi with the iPhone X. I don't know if you know something about that. Or is it um, because of the app update? Yeah. Um, in our pre conversation, you said that you have a what type of, of phone you have got you have a i use android so uh, android yeah. and uh, you got a error message in the beginning uh, that the ah, i should explain it, it it says the camera is not connected mm. uh, no the app cannot connect to the camera but actually if i go to not transferred files it shows me all my camera files yeah so it is connected but it doesn't show me yeah uh, it doesn't say it is connected yeah. For the engineers, uh, Android uh, operation system is a nightmare because uh, it's not only the there is not only a guide number. There's also depending on the used phone, is it your way? It's a uh, however, mm. um, Android is very very difficult, but Apple is normally very easy because they have an operating system, and if the operating system is on the actual level. Uh, if all updates are done, then there are no problems. I'm using for as we we, we did it with 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 an iPad, mm -hmm. and as well I can do it with my my my. There's also an X, and okay. uh, so it, it works here. Yeah, it's, 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 but it's, it's, if it's, it's not working for him, then maybe there's yeah, some yeah, other I'll, issues. That is an X, and uh, it's it's no problem. We can put the camera. And you, you, don't, you don't need to prove it. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so uh, it, 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 it's no problem. So uh, make sure to maybe check, that the yeah. app is updated yeah, 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 yeah. and the camera's yeah, updated. Yeah. Maybe then yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it works. Um, we'll check back. By the way, I, I, I just read about uh, uh, um, power bank. Uh, anchor portable chargers are the best. Yeah. Uh, I'm, in the past, I had the big one. Mm -hmm. And now I I change to the smaller one, have it always with me, and the, the weight is not this big, mm -hmm. and I could recharge I don't know ten times or anything like this. Yeah. So that gives me enough power for for yeah. one holiday. Yeah. Here's a question about um, the video output: Is it able? Uh, will it be possible to upgrade to 4K someday? I don't um, know why. No. Yeah. No, I, no, be because uh, that is part of the, uh, the therefore the, the hardware has mm. to be changed. So for the time being, 4K video with a GR3 is impossible, also not possible with any update. Yeah, for video, 
uh, at a, in a compact camera, I would say maybe go for a Sony RX100 or these types of cameras because they're more all around cameras, but mm. this is more like a specialty camera. Like you, you come to the GR for the image quality. Yeah. And uh, but it's. You, you are working as a. Mm. Or, that is part of your job. You are a photographer and filmmaker. And. Um, yeah, but I don't need video here. Yeah, okay, but not, not <laughs> from this camera. Yeah. But uh, you could do. Uh, what are you doing after processing your videos, after cutting? Are you using 4K or uh, mostly people are downsizing to uh, full HD? Uh, yeah. the, 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 the advantage of uh, 4K is that you can zoom in and, and that you you can use a small... Yeah, you uh, can crop, crop Yeah, afterwards. you can crop. Yeah, that is, that, that is the only advantage. And, uh, yeah. But afterwards, every filmmaker make a, after after the processing, he reduced it to, to full HD. Mm. So, uh, and then again, you always have your phone with you. So maybe just shoot video on your phone because then you have it on your phone. But, but you don't need a phone because mm. the phone has as well uh, the, no, no zoom lens or, or whatever. Yeah, that that, is, mean, a, that is, a, is a crazy thing that people mm. think whenever they are using like this, that this should uh, replace a uh, uh, ah, zoom yeah. lens. Pinch to uh, zoom. Yes, only, yeah. only this make nothing. Yeah. It, it increase only the, 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 the frame, nothing ah, you else. Mean in, in smartphones. In smartphones. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. digital zoom. Yeah, it's a digital yeah, zoom yeah. And, and it's the worst quality. Yeah, but when you see it on the small screen, it looks yeah, yeah, wonderful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we can move but, on but, because we by, by, by the way, um, there was another question about uh, picture quality, how big uh, or how large can uh, we print picture, uh, GR3 files? Yeah. Th 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 that's very, very, very simple. Um, because that is a technical question. Mm -hmm. um, we, we are working with 300 dots per inch. And uh, the, 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 the resolution has to be divided by th in best case, our eye is uh, able to recognize 300 dots per inch. That, that is the, what our eye mm -hmm. can do. And that is the maximum resolution an eye can see. Yeah. No, no more, it's, everything more is impossible for the eye to, to see. So we have to, to divide 6,000 by uh, 300, that makes 20 inch. Under the, under the line, it makes 51 centimeter by 34 centimeter. Mm -hmm. that, is, that means a uh, picture in this quality. But if you see recommendation of this, uh, this, this uh, photo poster uh, shops in internet, they recommend only a resolution or a dots per inch, I think by 150 or anything like this. That mm -hmm. is, it's also okay. Uh, then you can have a wall with, with a picture from you. So there is uh, minimum uh, size of picture you can print is 30 by 50 millimeter. Yeah. Okay. I think it can go bigger if you want. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yo. All right. Is it possible to have the focus scale on the screen in any mode? Um, the focus scale. I can actually show that because you showed me this uh, earlier today. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, please do. I mean, I know if I don't know if this answered the question, but um, so the focus scale is uh, important for for me, for example, to uh, to see when I do zone focusing, like how much do I have in focus, and um, on my GR, I think it's on all GRs, right? If you press. No. Uh, no, no, wait. I have my um, FN button set to yes. autofocus. Yes, yes. And if I do it, I focus. And if I hold it down, uh, it will show me here on the left side of this frame. Uh, you see the focusing scale. And uh, I also want to show... Oh, it's hard to do it like this. <laughs> Sorry, give me a second here. So here's my... We have the focusing scale here and while I'm holding down my uh, FN button, 
I can use this front dial here to change my focus afterwards. So um, this can be useful if you want to set your focus to 5 meter real quick. You focus onto something in the distance and then just go to 5. This could be a way yeah. to do it. Now, first of all, you have to <laughs> refocus. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, uh, people could think that they drink already too much beer. <laughs> um, if you explain this, um, you said you programmed ah, out of focus okay. to function button. Um, the function button, or the buttons of the camera are a wonder world. Please go in the menu setting and check the abilities, mm -hmm. abilities what you can do. Um, there was also a question, could I, could I save, or no, could I, a, E, also focus and and um, and the meter and, and, and the, can I save A, E and, and A, F with mm -hmm. one press the button. I can do it f for sure if I press the shutter button. Mm -hmm. That is one thing. But I can also put it on the F and button. And yeah. so I can save these values with the pressing this and then it's... Uh, saved as far you push the button. So uh, the function button has a lot of different opportunities. I put on it, uh, uh, depending on, 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 on the job I will do, uh, the, the, uh, finally I did the, the, the ND filter on it because I need it uh, from time to time. Mm -hmm. So you have 10 functions to, to uh, program this to the FN button. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I need to um, correct something here. Uh, it wasn't a question about the focus scale being visible at all times, um, but more on like the snap focus, for example, because when you set your snap distance, um, it doesn't show you the focusing scale. And it, I think you wanted to know uh, if you set your snap distance, if it is possible to show the focus scale or turn it on, you know, if I go to five meter, then yeah. Just to have it to see, for example, if I want to, if I close my aperture, then I would see like my yeah, yeah, range of yeah, focus. Yeah. Um, but you are able to see this. Yeah, if you go to focus mode and then go to snap mode, then you will see it. Yeah. Uh, but then you lose the ability to autofocus. Yeah, but which. Uh, but yeah, switch if you sw switch to to autofocus and mm -hmm. press the fo uh, the FN button, you can see it as well. Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, if I don't want to use autofocus. So just the snap distance. Yeah. Oh, so let's say one meter. Yeah. Then I let go. And I want to see like my uh, range mm. of focus, you know, how many meters. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I think this, uh, yeah, you, you, you should tell uh, Rico Japan. Yeah, yeah, to I, would do. yeah, yeah I, I would do. To, to, to add on that question, um, there's uh, one, someone asking how, uh, how we can submit like, uh, or do suggestions for firmware updates like what yeah that, that is a good question uh, it's depending to the country where are you where you are living mm -hmm. um, I take the opportunity because uh, Lentaro is asking me I'm checking very often the the forums mm -hmm. mainly in, in, in Germany uh, or in the Dach region in, in Switzerland and Austria um, and I couldn't check all the countries uh, about the requirements but um, there are as well some photographers we have Niels Kemp in Netherlands uh, we have good connection with him and uh, we have some guys sitting in, in France or in, in UK and uh, street photographers or photographers GR photographers are connected in Facebook and uh, you can be sure a serious request is not only from you, a serious request will be uh, from multiple persons. Mm -hmm. um, if we talk about the heat of the, the, the battery or anything like this, it's not only one person with this problem. There are more people uh, with this. Or if we are talking about um, so many other things, you are not alone. So uh, serious uh, problems, serious requests 
will reach me in any way. And mm -hmm. if you are in, in forums, in, in Facebook, on, 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 on GR pages, mm -hmm. then we, we so will Rico is watching like forums and yeah, yeah, see yeah, what yeah, people yeah, are yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But there's no direct way to contact Rico, uh, Rico and say... You have the <laughs> opportunity to... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for, for, for the rest. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but you, you may as well experience. Uh, we have the, the worldwide group of Pentaxians. And Pentaxians are organized as well in, 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 in the forum of, of Facebook. And uh, if there are serious requirements, I couldn't check day by day and at every mm. hour. Uh, but if there are serious uh, requirements, questions, I will read them, I will get them. And uh, finally, the, the colleagues in, 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 in Far East as well, the same, they've checked also uh, internet and uh, the forums if yeah. there are serious problems. And one thing for sure, the first guy who see the problems, Am I? <laughs> be, be, okay. be, because uh, I don't know. Since we ha I got the camera, mm. I don't touch my K1 again. Mm. Uh, I was on a um, tour in lost places, and uh, I normally I, I'm using the 645Z. Mm. This time mm. I use as well 645Z, but also yeah. this camera. I like this camera, and. I'm missing as well some some uh, functions, and uh, I'm in keen discussion with uh, colleagues from Japan. Mm. Uh, there was also the question frame rate. Uh, the, the frame rate of the camera is 24 uh, pictures per second. Frames for, per second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for, for video. Mm. And as far as I know, you as video producer knows that you need 25 pictures. Yeah. If you're in Europe, uh, outside in yeah. Asia or in America, you yeah. have uh, and, 24. And uh, we have to to see uh, how important are this type of requests, and mm. then we we will react. Yeah. So, what's up, Alex? <laughs> My friend Alex from Japan tuned in. Ah, okay. Uh, we already uh, discussed the 4K uh, video uh, thing. It, it will probably not be uh, possible no. to upgrade to no, 4K no, 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 because no. of the hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will check the list. If Sorry that uh, for the rest we have to check the list. What? Hmm. Um, ah, so another thing. Um, I, I just see, uh, could it be possible to add a pixel shift function? I was asked. Uh, from time to time, because pixel shift resolution is a, a ah. development from Pentax for SLR cameras. Meanwhile, mm. also other manufacturers using this. Uh, it's very simple thing. The, the sensor will be moved one pix in every direction mm. and to extend the resolution. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a, a requirement to hardware mm. and not possible with this camera. Ah, okay. Yeah, so on my list, we have already finished our questions from Instagram. There are a few that I got through mail. Ah, yeah, from Mike from, from Poland, but <laughs> I think uh, um, they are mainly answered already. There are a lot yeah, of we, things. We can check if we find something yeah. that we haven't we answered. Have, we answered about GPS, we answered about AF lock, AA, AE lock. Uh, we can do what it. What is on the, the warranty in months? Ah, the, the, the warranty of the camera, it's depending on the country. Mm -hmm. uh, in the European community, we have uh, laws what says uh, two years warranty. In, in Germany, we have a difference between warranty and warranty, uh, warranty and guarantee, but ah, yeah. uh, at least it's. Uh, to the legal uh, regulations in each country. Mm -hmm. We talked about uh, GPS that will come with a, a firmware update. It's not available now. Um, we ah we have a writing speed and uh, for writing speed, uh, it's important. We are recommending. I just checked. We are recommending uh, class 9 and higher um, SD cards, 9 and higher. And um, 
how many uh, pictures, frames per second in continuous mode I can uh, do. It's 4.2 frames per second in, a, in, in, in RAW. Mm. Yeah, but so far um, there are a lot of ideas and um, uh, ooh, I couldn't recognize the name. Maniac uh, is asking, yes, there is one person who has to recognize the problem and uh, yes, but all these things are in discussion. The, the, uh, we are living with, with this uh, World Wide Web and uh, we can... If keep, there's an issue, then yeah, they will yeah, probably yeah, yeah. get it's, it's, it's the memo. There, there the are no, no, no more secrets in, uh, because of the Internet. Mm. Yeah, there are probably there's probably a department that research yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, online yeah, yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. what people are saying. Um, will there be a full frame version in the future? <laughs> um, Ariana asking for a conversion lens. We answered in the beginning, <laughs> and I can recommend to everybody to to see this video later on again. You will put it on your mm -hmm. YouTube. Uh, yeah, I will leave it on and, my channel, and uh, you can see it again and again whenever you would like to do and this answer uh, this question is already answered uh, no there will be actual no more conversa conversation lenses and um, will be their uh, full frame camera um, and that is um, um, that is a question did Taro ask, uh, ask already at Photokina? <laughs> did I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be because uh, this camera was not available, mm. and Lintaro asked when there will be the successor of the camera. That was a wonderful uh, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean before the GS3 came uh, out? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. During, at, Photokina. At, uh, during Photokina, and okay. uh, we we show first time the, the why we should talk about a successor already. Mm. Um, if you see this camera, uh, my colleague from France, Elisabeth, just answered, this is a nice tiny camera uh, for women because it fits perfect in the hand case of, of ladies. Mm -hmm. And um, the, 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 the main target should be highest quality in, 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 in photos. But on the other hand side, um, we see at the market that a lot of camera manufacturers reduce already to a smaller format, for third or mm. micro for third. Like, like Fujifilm, they don't uh, make full frame cameras. Yeah. They have medium format and yeah. then APS-C. And if we see the big brick from the German manufacturer, mm. I think this is not the, the, the best target to have a full frame camera. Mm. Uh, the check out the quality of the camera. Mm. In Germany we are doing a lot of camera walks. Uh, also in the near future we will be in, 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 in next week in Berlin, we will be in Munich, we will be in Cologne, in Hamburg, uh, Dresden. In Germany we have um, promotion in, in a lot of shops as well in other countries. Check out the camera. Mm. Uh, participate on camera walks. We are doing Germany with SOS, with the guys from SOS, School of Street, mm. and test it by yourself. Mm. Don't give so much on, uh, on, on, on paperwork and test it by yourself. Mm. And you will see the, the camera will convince you. Mm. Also, when you uh, do street photography, then you don't always need full frame because you want yeah. all in focus most of the time. So it's actually harder to do zone focusing with the full frame mm. sensor because the uh, focus area will get narrower. And uh, so APS-C, I think it's fine for me, but some people like the like the 3D look you can get with full frame. Mm. Um, Is yeah. it Alex on the streets, your, your friend from Japan? Uh, yeah, ah. he's from Fukuoka. Hi, Alex, also from my side. It is a nice <laughs> idea. Uh, has Rico ever considered a portable printer like Fujifilm? Oh, um, yeah. Rico himself is uh, is a producer yeah, big of, in the of, printing of, of, business. Of, of, of printers, yeah. and um, due to the uh, success of, of the GR, maybe it could be an idea. Why not? Mm. Uh, printing is, for in my thinking, 
it's printing very very important um, if you see people sitting together in a in a bar and and all of them showing only their smartphones mm. um, first thing all of them put out their smartphone um, pictures are not not on the smartphone display a real picture is in this size on your wall mm. or in a smaller size in your map or anything like this mm. um, the full quality needs a printout so I can imagine that there's it's a good idea to have a printer yeah yes Alex maybe in the future yeah so. um, yeah if if you have any more questions um, shoot them now because we are already over one and a half hour and uh, we finished our uh, prepared questions so if there's anything you want to ask us now's the time or do you want to add anything uh, for me so far we explained a lot of things we discussed yeah. different things and um, what I would like to ask you you're asking us um, where we can give uh, our ideas why not as uh, comment under this video Oh, okay. as, as you see, we checked this oh, afterwards. Yeah, yeah I, I have to tell that to them because, um, yeah, if you have any questions or something that you want Rico to see, then comment it uh, under this video because all my previous videos I did with the GR, um, they, or I don't know if you or Rico and friends, I don't know. Uh, anyways, Rico actually checks the comment section and they wrote down I the did. questions. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so you made the list. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see uh, your questions, uh, they get through. So. Yeah. Um, a personal question. Are you coming to Switzerland to shoot? Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Dunkelheit. <laughs> uh, we oh, it's, it's address a question to you? You are, be, be, because <laughs> Switzerland is our market and uh, we ah. care as well for Switzerland. Mm. And uh, we will have also promotions in Switzerland with the next days. Uh, there are some, 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 some exhibitions, some fairs, some meetings, and there will be the camera as well presented. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Kunitskunzeit? I, I don't know how the maximum uh, supported speed through USB-C. I don't know, sorry. Uh, that I can answer. The camera could be only charged and not used in the same time. Um, to use the camera, you have to switch off the USB cable. And Tizer, yes, you will get it also in Brazil. Otherwise, you can order it as well by one of the German mail order dealers. It's no problem to order them here. All right. Yeah. Good. So far, I think questions are answered. It was nice yeah, they're, they're, they're to be always, here with you. There are always questions. Yeah. 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 Thanks for coming out and doing this because uh, it yeah. was the first time. Yeah. And, and I think now I become. <laughs> he really uh, wanted to be here. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "When can we do the live stream?" <laughs> Maybe I become a YouTube star now. <laughs> the same yeah. as you. Uh, next time I will have also a cap with yeah. me. <laughs> a, a red cap with the Rico logo. And what I really missed is uh, where is your uh, your, your pushel? Uh, you, mean, you mean the cat? Uh, <laughs> normally, the, your cat, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, I use. Uh, yeah. Usually, usually, I use this mic for my streams, <laughs> and uh, he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the word. It don't have, have, well, It is yeah. part of your uh, YouTube shows. Yeah. Nice. Thank you it's very much convenient. for this. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, yeah. Wolfgang. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, we, we are just checking here. Um, do you come to Japan often? <laughs> Alex, if you will invite me, maybe yes. Or ask my chief, maybe he will send me to Japan. <laughs> but I was in Tokyo uh, sometimes yeah. and it was a wonderful experience for, for me as well mm. uh, to see. It's only if, we are, if you are on a business trip, you are only able to, to see offices. Mm. But I used the time after the official dinners and so on to going out. Yeah. And um, thanks to my jet lag, I mm. couldn't sleep. 
And <laughs> so I went out and see yeah. something from Tokyo. It was nice there. Okay, so yeah. far, guys, thank you okay. very much. Yeah, I, I think we close it here. If so. you have comments, please leave it under the video. And maybe, it, maybe mm -hmm. there will be another time for such a session. He can't wait for the <laughs> next one. <laughs> guys. Yeah, maybe someday. Okay. Thank you very much. So, see you. Finally, and, uh, stay tuned or whatever we have I don't to know. say. <laughs> we can say whatever we want. <laughs> Good. Bye. So, have a nice weekend, right? It's Friday. Yes, Friday. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.